I'm back here at home. It's been a cool and very soggy Friday so far, but better news for the weekend, we're hoping. Meteorologist Matt Peterson back keeping track of this wet forecast for us. Hey, Matt. Yeah, hey there, Janelle. Like you said, we have good conditions coming this weekend. But we have to get through Friday first, and it's going to be a wet one for us. We've seen plenty of rain across a majority of the region. The one spot where we haven't seen too much in the way of precipitation just yet is actually down towards the shore. Now, it's not going to be a good shore day by any stretch, but you take a look at Cape May on our neighborhood network here. For the most part, it's just cloudy. Yes, a couple of sprinkles are out there, a couple light showers, but again, the shore so far has been the one kind of spot where we haven't seen too much rain. The rest of us across inner South Jersey, the I-95 corridor, including here in Philly, and then as you head a little bit further north and west, plenty of rain so far here today. And that's going to be our theme through the afternoon. Rainy and chilly for us here today. As we go through the overnight, the rain's going to dry out. We're going to see our skies start to clear, and that's going to lead into a sunny and brisk weekend, which is great. Temperatures, though, will be seasonal, if not a little bit below average, especially tomorrow, where we get some high temperatures that could be in the lower 60s. So, Storm Scan 3 right now shows all of this precipitation working through. We originally this morning had two areas that we were watching. There was this wave that was down in the Carolinas, and that has started to move northward. And then we also had our cold front that came through, and those two systems kind of working in concert have allowed all of this precip to really blossom as we've gotten into the end of the morning and now here into the early afternoon. And we're going to continue to see these showers stay steady all afternoon long with a couple of pockets even of some heavier downpours mixing in from time to time. So again, not too much really in the far north and west or at the immediate shore, but all points in between plenty of rain for us. So we take you to Bucks County right now, anywhere from around Doylestown down into South Bucks County towards Newtown Yardley into the Levittown area. You see there there's oranges and even a little bit of uh, yellow there mixing in too. And that's our moderate to even at times possibly heavier rain. Again, the shore not too bad, but that's going to fill in this afternoon. And you see all the way from Burlington County down towards southwest Jersey here. But per plenty of showers and again, mixing in a couple of yellows and oranges there, that more moderate rainfall. So future weather, temperatures will be in the 50s most of the afternoon, but they could actually drop down into the lower 50s as the late parts of the afternoon to the early evening hours. Uh, we'll see those temperatures dip. You see by 5, 515, still plenty of rain across much of the area. As we head into the evening, not too much change. Except for the fact that to the far north and west, it starts to dry out a little bit sooner than across Philly and South Jersey. By the time we hit the overnight hours, the rain will really start to wrap up. And by Saturday morning, we wake up to temperatures in the 40s, but plenty of sunshine for us on Saturday morning and into Saturday afternoon. Heaviest rain, maybe about an inch to an inch and a half across South Jersey is what we're expecting. Our weekend, though, looking fantastic. The cooler day will be Saturday. Sunday, though, 66 degrees, a nice crisp afternoon. So if you're maybe one of those folks that gets to head down to the link for in-person viewing of the Eagles, you're going to have great weather. Hopefully they come away with the victory. Temperatures, like I said, over the weekend with that sunshine are in the 60s. And then we warm it back up into the 70s. Janelle, look at Tuesday and Wednesday there. Temperatures around 75. I love that type of weather. Bring it on. All right, Matt, thank you.